Happy Friday, everybody. I'm Nick Slavic. I'm the proprietor of the Nick Slavic Painting and Restoration Company. I'm also the host of this show, Ask a Painter Live. It's a weekly live Facebook show where I use my over two decades of experience as a craftsperson and an entrepreneur to answer any of your questions. So today, very special show, 200th episode. This is 200 consecutive weeks. I have not missed a week in you know 52 weeks a year. This is almost four years of this stuff going on. So. Uh, we are in the Slavic house right now. This is probably the last week of work right here. I'm going to try to push to get my family in here. We're going to talk about a few things today. I'm going to do a project walkthrough here while all the contractors are at lunch. I didn't want to in impede on their space. Uh, we're going to give a little COVID update, what's going on in the country now. It would kind of be silly not to talk about that. And then I'm going to show you my preferred way of spraying cabinet doors. And I can guarantee it's my preferred way because this is my house and they are my cabinet doors. So. Uh, if there was ever a way uh, you know, to do a quality job, we were gonna do it here. And I practice what I preach for the rest of my company. The SOPs that we follow are the same thing that I've developed over the years and that I use on my own house. So why don't we walk around here real quick? Uh, I'll show you guys. We have master suite here, and this is completely done. Coating schedule for this project is Benjamin Moore High Build Primer on walls and ceilings. Uh, and then we're using uh, Benjamin Moore uh, Scuff X Matte on the walls. Scuff X satin on all the trim, and it is beautiful. I'm gonna see if I can find a good shine picture here, but uh, it's tough. We got these gloomy days, but this this stuff is some of the smoothest, silkiest, cashmereiest uh, paint I've ever used. It goes on super easy. It doesn't flash. I tried some drywall mud behind it on these walls with Scuff X matte, and it didn't flash. Uh, it, it acts like a wall paint, but it feels uh, like an enamel. It's a, it's a pretty remarkable thing. So yeah, thank you to Benjamin Moore for partnering with me on the interior of the house. It's been a lot of fun doing this. You can see that beautiful Scuff X mat on the wall. It's just got this beautiful, like sophisticated glow. It, it's the closest thing to enameling your walls that's easy to apply. So we have my boys' room here. We'll go over. The girls' room has a bunch of nice light. The electrician's just finishing up here. Uh, these are all finished colors. This is uh, Benjamin Moore Sea Pearl. Uh, it's a very, I like to have simple coatings in my house. So we're going to be using Hirschfield's Dull Varnish, Scuff X Matte on the walls, Scuff X Satin on the trim, and uh, just keep it simple. Um, I know that the, the millwork and stuff is, is so ornate, and uh, I really wanted to draw attention to that, so I didn't go crazy with the color. When you do this, this is an old historic trick. When you have ornate trim and things like that, you can see that beautiful baseboard and things like that. If you get rid of the color and just do a white or an off-white or a single color that's light, you can actually see all of the little details and things like that. So that was kind of the goal for all that. Everything is Benjamin Moore Sea Pearl. You can see through the kitchen here, we're all prepped and ready to prime that woodwork. Uh, we have uh, white oak countertops here being glued up. Uh, with sink in today, plumbers just put this in uh, my faucet in. You can see that beautiful kind of sleek one-piece suit in there, uh, one-piece thing there. Ah, uh, Dan Chase, in your opinion, what's the comparison of Duration versus Scuff X? Two different things. Duration's a great wall paint. Scuff X is a great enamel slash, you know, place for uh, industrial setting, commercial setting, kind of facilities management, things like that. It's super tough. So, climb on the windows, I had a chance to do those. I got a coat of oil around the outside here so we can get a good tape line. Around here, you don't want to take bare wood. Sometimes you get some creep, especially with open pour wood. You can see my wall of glass is now fully trimmed out and it's ready to prime. We got half of the island glued up here. The other half over here, I'll show you this beautiful, beautiful white oak. Look at this stuff. I have white oak countertops in my house right now and they're just masterful, so. Ah, uh, the buyers. But the paint looks like an awesome drywall. Yes, I will say this. Um, I was aided by one of the finest carpenters on the face of the planet. Also, one of the good drywallers left. Uh, there's a young fellow named Ariel who did all that stuff. And uh, honestly, I've never had less touch up in a house before. It's wonderful. So you can see Island reclaimed cabinets. These again are 100 years old, all from the Vesley School. You can see the backside here. That's gonna be beautiful. These will all be stained and varnished. Uh, I'll show you my post. Uh, I have a 140 year old Newell post here. This had crappy green paint all over it. I let it cook last night in some stripper and I stripped it this morning partially. 
I'm gonna do some finish sanding and get the rest of this stuff off today. And this will actually be the post on the island to hold up the, uh, the rest of the white oak countertops. That'd be kind of cool. All right, let's walk you through the rest of it here. It's coming down to the end. It's gonna be a busy weekend here. So you can see showers taking place here. We got my old dresser that got turned into a vanity here. They're plumbing that. Uh, electrical inspection by the state's gonna be later today, so we're getting ready for that. Plumbing inspection as well will happen next Monday. So there's just a, the big main room and these couple little ancillary rooms to finish paint, and technically all the living space is done. And uh, later on, I'm gonna show you how I spray my cabinet doors. Uh, and this is my racking system right here. Let's see if, oh, we got a mirror in there. Sorry, let me get that. So this is what we use for racking our cabinet doors here. A bunch of two by fours that I drill and we use electrical uh, metal conduit. And this is modular. This can come apart. It's got door hinges on the top. You pop the pins out, throw it in the back of a van, take it to a job site. Uh, and then, yeah, this is modular. So all of the cabinet doors from my house fit right here. We got reclaimed oak lumber that was framing. That will be my desk. I'm gonna make a desk out of that. Uh, I can't show you what we're using for the conference room table in the war room yet, that's a surprise, but we have war room door here, and we have people hiding out in my war room. I see Tina running away. Trainer Tina, everybody knows and loves Tina. We got Scott trying to scarf down a sandwich. I'm surprised he doesn't have an air nail in his hand. That's usually how it goes around here. So that's the master right there, the wood wizard. He's taking all this stuff and making it look good. So if you guys ever get a chance, come here and see this work. Uh, and like I, I gave a preview last night, but this war room is gonna be something else. Scott's probably gonna be in here for a week. Yeah. Yeah, so there's a, a truck dropped off the lumber to do this room. We could just paint it and move on with our lives, but that's not how we do it here. <laughs> so we punish ourselves because we like aesthetics and it's gonna be awesome. So, all right, we have appliances got dropped off here. All my doors are finished and waiting for their antique hardware. They're gonna be thrown back in the house. We have range hood with metallic paint on it that I doctored up to make look uh, like unlacquered brass. That's going to be going up in the next day or two. And uh, oh yeah, we got some service doors last night too. So I think we are ready to spray some cabinet doors. Let me go through some questions here. Dee, 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 dee. What kind of uh, tie? What kind of finish does the white oak get? Ah, I'll show you right here. Minwax antique oil. It, uh, it sounds like the worst finish you could absolutely do on this, but it's a super sneaky finish. Uh, this stuff is masterful. My countertops in my kitchen are, uh, are this now, and my table that I made out of that same white oak I'm gonna make my desk out of. Um, I, I did this, about three coats. You're supposed to rub it off, kind of like a uh, penetrating varnish. I leave it on at full strength and then buff it to a satin, and it is one of the hardest oil finishes you will ever see in your life. It's super easy to apply, it's forgiving, and you can refresh it every five or six years. It's just masterful. So you guys are gonna get a kick out of that. Don't think I'm not doing a live video when I oil my countertops. So, all right, let's slip through here. Let's see what other questions. Thanks for the answer, the job is coming around. Yes, we're gonna be here very shortly. Oh, about ready to shave that beard? Yes, Michael, so we've been talking about possibly doing something intentional uh, with some facial hair, possibly, uh, you know, the Corona shave or uh, raising some money for charity too. So um, we're gonna talk some more, but I will definitely do that. Uh, yeah, and I'll probably be shaving my head too. If this goes on another two or three months in quarantine, I'm gonna have to get toots to get the buzzer out here. So Aaron King, can you clone your drywaller? Uh, I wish I could, man. Uh, good drywallers are not very plentiful. So, okay, I think we're ready. I'm gonna go get trainer Tina. Uh, I get the pleasure of working with one of my craftspeople, Tina, today, and we're gonna show you guys how I prefer to spray kitchen cabinets. So we got a Titan Elite 3000. Uh, we have a Benjamin Moore Fresh Start Long Oil Primer. Uh, we're doing that with this project because I got a bunch of old stuff and I really wanted that extra tannin blocking. It does take a little longer to dry, but it will block everything. So, oh, Fernanda Maya, I like your uniform. Thank you. That's uh, it's a hallmark of our company, cream and tan. So all of our painter pants are cream and stuff like that too. I think it sets us apart a little bit. So I'm gonna go get trainer Tina. I'm gonna get this uh, get this stuff going. Let's spray some cabinet doors. All right, Tina, we're ready for you.
So this is my job site setup. We got our little ad hoc five gallon thing here. I got my staging table behind me. I got an LED light shining across it to just see any flaws. We got plenty of light, but why not? All my cabinet doors are stacked from biggest to smallest. And I always start with my biggest ones because it covers up the pedestal enough. And when you get down to the smallest ones, you're kind of spraying onto the pedestal. And I don't want to set a cabinet door up there. So uh, Paul Rafferty, how do you find the Titan? Uh, wonderful machine, it's a mastery. Uh, it's a simple machine, and when you couple it with the right tip and the right coating, it's uh, it's masterful. So, I've liked it a lot. Oh, Dominic, impressed with those ceilings. Yeah, listen man, I talked to my drywaller and I said, listen dude, I'm a painter and I have a whole bunch of LED lights, and this is a 40 foot wide ceiling here that you can see. So I said, if you were ever to practice your craft well, do it on this ceiling, my friend, because that is a big old ceiling right there, and it is wonderful. You have raking light from three directions, which is just about a drywaller's worst nightmare. So uh, kudos to him for doing that. Now let's make sure I'm getting here. Mike Kelly, Dustin, oh man, we got the we got the best people in the industry watching here. All right, guys, let's spray some cabinet doors. If you guys like uniforms, check out Tina's hat. We got a series of hats, a camel and pink and teal. She's got the purple one. Uh, finishing, what are the tips for finishing cabinets? I got a 311 uh, HEA on this one. Um, really good tip combined with this oil primer. Important too, you see me switching sides there. I want to make sure I get direct shooting into the lip. Now, normally I just get uh, a gun, but because I'm going to be doing all the architectural millwork here too, I have a 12 inch extension. So, normally I would just use a gun so you can be a little more agile, but I figured we'd leave the sprayer chalked up here. Every set of cabinet doors is going to want something different. With these bare oak cabinets, because of the way they were finished sanded before I got them, they want a little bit higher with the sprayer. You can see my gun getting farther away at a slower pattern like that. When I did my normal kind of quicker multiple passes like that, it still got a little zebra stripey. So I just kind of uh, I just kind of relaxed the pattern. You see what turns out good for each cabinet door.
can see we've got our numbering system back here. Obviously, you know, back side of the drawer, you, you put a little number on it, throw a piece of tape on over it so your primer doesn't stop it, and then rock and roll. Sometimes you get a little back pressure, get a little leak. Just tighten up the sprayer. We'll brush the back side of that door out, sand it out. Good to go. If this leaks again, we'll stop. We'll get rid of the extension and we'll keep going with the gun. That's it, folks. See, we've got any questions here? No air scrubber today. Yeah, those HEA tips just have like almost no overspray there. Jonathan, uh, love that fresh start oil too. Ah, Jim Callahan, are you keeping any trim and cabinets of wood color or going all white? Uh, the island will all be uh, restored 
and wood, uh, natural wood tone again too. Oh, Derek, you missed it. Uh, I know you guys are super critical of uh, the gear and the methods I use. Uh, I did put an extension on because I will be doing the trim with that same sprayer, same gun right after this. So I just loaded it up uh, and then ended up doing the cabinet doors. My preferred method is always just gun only with cabinet doors. You seem more agile. You don't have to lift your hand up so high. But since we'll be doing the trim after, I just threw an extension on here just so I wouldn't have to set it up later. Uh, Paul, HEA tips are great. It means you can run lower pressure. Absolutely. Uh, we're probably at, uh, I pumped this one up a little bit. The oil primer is real thick. Uh, and I don't like to thin my stuff, so I think we're probably at about 2,300, uh, 2,400, give or take. Uh, da, da, da. Carolyn, we paid for our doors to be sprayed and we're all drippy in some areas, not painted well on the inside. It makes me want to do it myself. Absolutely, yep. Yeah, there's nothing nothing less satisfying than a, than a crappy spray job. So, uh, John, are, the, are those kitchen cabinets? Yes. Thanks so much, man. I really appreciate it. Oh, Jamie and Maureen Briggs. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Uh, we're going to get back to work here. Actually, you know, before I do that, let me take you and show you my... All the cabinet doors racked up, ready to go. So here they are. Racked up. Drying. We'll keep them out of our general area there. So, you know, when we spray the trim, they, the things don't settle on it. But otherwise, there they are. There they'll sit. All right, everybody. Have a good rest of the Friday. Thanks everybody for supporting me and watching for 200 weeks. It's been an amazing trip here and uh, basically everything interesting that's happened to me in this industry has happened in the last four years since starting this and uh, everybody watching here and everybody interacting with me is a large part of that. So thanks everybody. Have a good weekend and uh, follow along with Project on the Slavic House.